So welcome back to episode two of Train to the End of the World. Now, the first episode was probably one of my favorite first episodes in a long, long time. It was incredibly done. I think it was such an unnerving, but cute, unnerving, scary, uh, but beautiful episode. It reminds me of a few anime, and I mentioned them in the first episode, but I'm going to mention them again, because it does remind me of that. It reminds me of a little bit of a um, Girl's Last Door, mixed with One Direct Priority with all the weirdness, and mixed with the underlying anxiety of Made in Abyss. Um, now, I don't know how far this anime is going to go. It could just end up being like a little Girl's Last Door, which is all the way through just an anime that's just... Slice of life, cute girls doing cute things with an underlying anxiety underneath it. Or it could go full on Made in Abyss. So I wonder, I wonder. Mm, I'm excited to see it because it's such an incredible anime. And it's the anime that's taken me by surprise the most. There have been some incredible anime this season. And I'm watching a lot of them on my channel. But this one was the most surprising to me. So... I guess, without further ado, if you want to watch this uncut and unblurred, it's going to be on my Patreon, link in the description down below. And without further ado, let's go into episode two of Train to the End of the World. <laughs> Nakatomi Yoka. Is that the missing chick? It is, right? The opening is really good. It's a vibe. But I actually think I slightly prefer the ending over the opening, but both are really good. Ikebukuro. 30 stops, right? Left to go until Ikebukuro. I am so intrigued to see where this goes. Suppose, maybe, presumably. Wowie. Wowzers. Wet blanket. Yeah, the cute hands. Whoa, 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 please, whoa, 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 that was way too fast. Uh, we're off on a trip, but we'll be just fine, so please don't worry about us. Uh, it'd be great if you could let Remy chan and Akira-chan's families know. Smiley face. Is Black Leopard the delivery service? It is, right? To the elements. Mm. Wow, really? I love their chemistry. Are we there yet? Huh? That does not sound good. The CG is incredible. The CG is so good. Wow, look at this. Who decided to make a trainway like that? What troll decided to make that? Memento Mori? Ah. Of course, I won't believe it. I love this OST in the back. 
Oh, this house is so good. Yeah, it's All Might. Or Mighty G. If you're a Pokemon fan. Does it mean anything? <laughs> she forgot it. Yeah. Does it matter? I love that chemistry so much. This OSD is so unnerving. I love it. I think it's a bit off, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I thought we were talking about the Marie Antoinette quote. Shuru Shuru Uri. Um, I love how Gyaru she is. Why does she have a nozzle? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Oh. They can make ramen out of those. <laughs> the voice acting! The voice acting is really good. Like, really, really good. It portrays the chemistry of the team so well. I'm pretty sure you can make, like, some kind of ramen with that. Mm. Underwear. Oh, pants. True, they didn't, they didn't take underwear or change of clothes. It, uh, we wait wait we had um, a running joke or it wasn't a running joke i remember back in elementary school uh, a friend of mine I, th this joke sticks with me like i think about this like once a month even though it's been like so many years since then he was like there was a joke that was like ah uh, um men in the military were out on a mission for like two weeks and they weren't able to change their underwear in that time and when they finally came back there higher up finally said now it's finally time that you can change your underwear and they were like yes yes and he went you change with him you change with him you change with him <laughs> that was i remember back in elementary school or like it was middle school i was losing my shit that was it still is a great joke i love that joke it's so good <laughs> uh, sorry i've been thinking about that ever since they said it oh are we there yet oh here we go the eerie fog 
そうやってマウント取るのは性格が悪いんだよねアキラアキラかなきつれ焼き虫取ったのは10年以上昔の話ですから I really like the chemistry man A 点取ったのは1回だけだし小テストだし I keep saying it but it's so good、ね、そんなに嫌ならあがなで待ってればよかったんだよ嫌とか言ってないでしょ勝手に決めないでよアキラちゃんアキラだって自分から乗り込んだくせにレイミとナデコちゃんが乗らなかったら乗らなかったよあれはあの時はいいですよはい。Um, did they mention in the episode one that in one of the towns people started turning into trees? I think they said that in episode one. Maybe I'm misremembering it. I'm pretty sure they said that. I just wanted to point it out because that seems relevant here. Lemmy, it's a little bit of 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 なんだろう別に何もえなんだろう何何か来てるなんか何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何おおっそれはハローお前たちは誰だ気をつけて絶対殺人鬼で殺しに来てるよそう私こそがこの川最強のシリアルキラーと呼ばれたおいしいだろあらかんばっはいすきあひゅうまんあのどちらさまなまるほどのものではないでまあ、その、俺はなんだ、駒川を遡っていろいろ記録したり調べたりしてるんだけどね。久しぶりに人に会ったんでびっくりしちゃったよ。ねえ、何、ティラー、何してんのうん、と、池袋を行こうかと。ええ、ディスコフィアスミュージックすごい。私も池袋から来たが、有望かかんなくなっマジで池袋から来たすごいじゃんいや、そういうことだよ。<笑>池袋から来た人って初めて見た。Be careful, girl. So, you're way too close. Animate. Bobby. The Pioca. Probably. Ah, the title. was seven G. 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 と推測されるだろうということかと思われる。とにかく言いたいことは池袋行きをおすすめしないということだなんでとにかくすごいものすごいありえないことになっているらしいと推測されると思われるうんはい行こうちょっと待って I have a feeling he's なんかちょうだいよじゃあ Speaking some facts <笑> Even if he is weird いいものえ交換いいものこれ自作の地図超役に立つからスーパーおすすめああでもアートアドバイス何も信じちゃダメは信じるなら自分で確かめたこと This is really important Of course <gasps> 具にもつかないことってこういうんじゃないはいどう有名しずるちゃんこれをあげてもいいんじゃないお父さんのでしょ私たちいらないしよよよこれは文明の力、加熱式喫煙具のカートリッジ。うん、それでよければあげる。Yes. ありがとうメルシー、グラッツィエ、コップンカーコップンカーメルシー、グラッツィエ。任せたまえ駒川を遡り、西武池袋沿
There is no way he's under 21. Yeah, he did. The voice acting is insanely good, man. I really love it. ゼンジロウさんが顎の当てたくない。出られないって。なんで顎の当てようとすると頭痛やめまいがひどくなるんだって。すごく。うにゃうにゃ手術のせいだって言ってた。っていう暗示かもね。暗示って視線のとこは3
どっからどっち行けばいいのよやばいんだって待ってよ話し言葉に向いてないんだから全身か交代か助言求む阿賀野と東阿賀野の教皇は国土地理院によるとボボボーノーゴールキルだーウォー What's happening here? Holy shit! Are they back? Okay, so they went forward. Okay. Aroma candle. Do you want to go? Ikebukuro. Oh, they did say forward. I'm stupid. Yeah, 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 I'm stupid. This obviously, man. Tori guide. This feels important as well. Maybe. New town. New stop. Oh no, I've seen The Last of Us. Wow, the ending song is so good, man. Okay. Okay. This episode, this episode was really good. Really, really good. I think it obviously, since this was an episode of The Journey Between Two Stops, it didn't have as many weird things happening in it as the first episode did. I feel like the episodes in the towns are going to be the weirdest ones and the most kind of, not important, but the most, the biggest episodes. This one felt so good, like a setup episode. It felt like they showed us so many things, like the, the plant kind of wrapping itself around the girl's hand. That was creepy as hell. And then we saw that guy who said he was young now i wonder how young also i wonder if every because every city has a different occurrence um or i don't know if it's every city but there are a lot of different occurrences happening around the cities right um in agano them turning into animals and stuff so i wonder if the age limit for all the cities is going to be the same it's going to be 21 years and three months or if it's going to be different also i wonder if it affects you based on where you were at the time of 7G or how is it dis distributed? So if you travel from one city to another and then you turn 21 and three months, is it going to change? I wonder, but I'm going to guess it kind of, um, it's hmm, maybe, yeah, it's maybe depends on where you were at the time of the 7G incident. Mm, interesting. And then also, let me say the voice acting 
was so good. I think the voice acting in this episode has been just stellar, absolutely incredible. In the first episode, it was good, but it didn't stand out as much as this episode. This was, it was really good. Also, I really like how they, they're using CG. I think CG in this looks incredible. Like some of the best CG that I've seen, or it's not just because it's good CG. I think it's because of it's really creative and how it looks, it's, it makes it look so, so cool and so eerie. It's really good. And the OST is really unnerving. The one OST that was playing throughout the most of the episode was really unnerving and I really like it. Mm. And then the people at the end growing a mushroom over there on their head. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder what it's going to entail. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Um, also, I really like the chemistry between the two girls, the Gyaru and um, the black haired girl. I'll remember their names eventually, but I'm going to need some time. Anyways, this was... Oh, this anime is going to be so good. I can feel it. This anime is going to be just so much fun and anxiety. I can't wait to watch more. Anyways, uh, let me know. What do you guys think about this episode? Because I think it was really good. I think this anime is still surprising me. with, And it's going to continue surprising me with every episode. Um, I hope at least. But yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.